A 3-0 Brighton win over Liverpool moves them up the table in seventh above Liverpool. The result tells us how good Brighton were, but Stevie Nicol, how bad were Liverpool? Ooh, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure Liverpool have had a worse performance under Jurgen Klopp from start to finish. Um, they were never at the races. They were always second to everything. Um, they couldn't pass the ball. They weren't together. Um, I mean, you name it, it went wrong. I mean, I guess the easiest thing for me to say would be to say that, that Kanati, of the 11 players on the field, Kanati was the only one that actually showed what he's made of. Not what he's made of, but showed what he is. Everybody else was so far off the pace and just, as I said, not at the races that, I mean, just physically and mentally, they, they look all over the place. Um, I mean, I'm struggling here because it was so bad. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of another positive other than Kanati, and I really can't. There, there just wasn't one. So half time comes, and obviously Brighton have been dominant, so they know what to expect from them. What's Jurgen Klopp said to them at half time? Because they've come out, and then look what's happened in the second half, CV. I think there's no question that Jurgen Klopp would have kicked some backsides and had some harsh words. But I think what you saw in the second half is what Liverpool are right now, and that is mentally jaded and mentally not at it. You know, they, they just are not at the races whatsoever. I mean, three times I've said that three times already. I mean, really, the the I can't stipulate how much the mental side of the game matters. Yes, you have to be physically fit and, and prepared, but the mental side of the game is huge. And you saw a Liverpool side that mentally is shot. Because when I talk about mentality, I talk about believing. I talk about going on the field, thinking you're going to win with a plan. You know, going about your, your business, making sure that you do your job. And then if you can help somebody else, the, there seems to be a fog amongst Liverpool players right now. And there's a fog and a cloud following the team around because nobody seems to be in the right place at the right time. Nobody seems to be able to make a good decision when it matters most. I mean, every single thing that they're trying to do is going wrong. And really, the only thing I can say is, when is Jürgen going to change the way they play? Because right now, the way they're playing isn't working. They're losing goals. They're not creating chances. And if you're in a situation like that, then you have to change. Uh, it doesn't seem as though he's going to. Uh, and if he doesn't, because he can't change the personnel very much, you know, he made four substitutions in the second half at one time and it made absolutely no difference. So it's not like he has a lot of personnel changes he can make. So he has to, he has to make a big statement. He has to make a drastic change. And for me, that, that could only be changing the formation and changing the way they play. Because right now, the way they're playing and the formation is not working at all. What, so what, what formation does he need? Is it just something he needs to go back to the drawing board with? Well, you need to be solid. When you, when you can't get a victory and you can't keep a clean sheet to save your life, then you show the goal up. That's the first thing you do, in my opinion. You make sure you don't lose a goal. And if that means you stick every single person behind the ball to ensure you don't lose a goal, then you have to do it. And then you build from there. You know, it, it, it's it's no surprise. Everybody talks about building from the back because you can't throw goals away and expect to just score one more than the opposition every time you step on the field. You have to be solid. And he has to get a shape and a unit and a formation and, and, and pick the right players in order to give nothing away. Give nothing away and then build from there. Because right now, wow, there's holes everywhere. They're giving goals away, they're giving chances away, and they're just not a unit. So that first goal, you had a matic mistake on the last goal from Danny Welbeck. They concede from a throw-in. Is that down to mentality? Yeah. Uh, as I said, just, you know, football's about decision-making. 
your starting your starting position. You know, when the ball's in the air, you you you're deciding what do you go, do you stay? You know, do you talk to the guy next to you? Do you tell him to go and go and challenge for the ball? And you saw in the last goal in the throw in, nobody moved, nobody spoke, nobody did anything. There's uh, there's just a fog and a cloud hanging over every Liverpool player right now that they can't make a decision and can't and, and can't react to anything. I mean, there's no reaction at all. There's only there's only one team moving, uh, and, and that's that's the team in blue and white. That's the, the Brighton players. Liverpool, they're all static, they're all standing, they're all watching, they're all waiting to see what happens. And you can't do that. It's too late. And as you saw in the third goal, by the time anybody did move, it was too late. Ball's in the back of the net. And even Alisson, who as good as he is, isn't making any saves anymore. You know, it... it this time last year, we're talking about if, if anybody's through one-on-one, I think he's going to save it. That's not the case right now. No. That, that's hardly a criticism that, you know, you're expecting him to make saves all the time. But the truth is, if he makes a save here and there that could maybe change something, he even he's not doing that. Although that may seem harsh on him, um, but even he's not making a save. Is Jurgen Klopp's job safe, Stevie, and should it be? Yes, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, Liverpool need to retool, they need to recharge, you know, they need to restart the batteries. Um, It seems like the cycle's kind of over, uh, so the team needs refreshed. Um, Yeah, no, absolutely, no no question. Any any Liverpool fan who wants rid of Jurgen Klopp needs uh, needs their brains tested. The other coach, so De Zerbi, remember his first game in charge was against Liverpool. That was 3-3. Then it was three without reply today for his side. How good were Brighton today and how good are they looking? Well, they looked like the old Liverpool. <laughs> That's about the best compliment I can give them. They passed the ball superbly. The movement was fantastic. The decision-making, they got everything right. Uh, they won all the challenges. They won all the second balls. Uh, they could have played without a goalkeeper today, pretty much. Uh, you know, they they were so good that if you had asked Brighton supporters before this game if they thought they'd be shouting ole during the match for their team, I don't think any of them would have said yes. That's how good they were, that the Brighton fans were actually ole in. Tells you how bad Liverpool were, but it tells you how good Brighton were. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.